Greetings! Picture this. The year is 2012. You're me, little second grade boy you could easily overlook and not care about. You see, most of the things that I do during this time are just goof around with friends or play this awesome new block game I found last year. Yes, that is me, and yes, I am a Minecraft veteran. Just flexing. So one day, a classmate of mine, whom I don't really remember that much, was flexing his or her new book to my stupid face. Being the hyperactive, curious brat that I am, I ask, Hey, what you got there? Um, it's a brand new book. It's called Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and this book is the Fort Dog Days. Then, I proceeded to borrow this so-called Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and I was fascinated. Like, for real! It had funny faces, frowning faces, drawings, text in a bad kid's font, which was still better than my handwriting at the time, and all these stupid crap, and I thought, wow, this is an amazing book. I'm going to buy one. A book fair always comes around November in our school, and I think that there are booksellers sponsoring this annual event our school does. And so, I took this opportunity to buy the dog days for free. For real guys, people always tell me that they're jealous because I have a full collection of Diary of a Wimpy Kid books that I have been honestly collecting since ever since that fateful day that I was actually moved by that certain classmate of mine to buy one. Am I proud that I have all of those? What? Am I honestly proud that my parents actually buying me those? No, I ain't proud. But honestly, if I am actually going to be proud of something that actually relates to those books, then I would be proud that I actually begged on my knees to get all of those when I was a child. And what do you know? I literally had a complete collection of them. But it's not complete right now. I have like 5 or 4 books that I haven't really bought yet ever since 2019. I haven't even spent money on those books, on completing them actually ever since 2009. Now, the reason why I haven't bought any books is because I literally have a lot of things where I would be spending my money rather in what actually matters. Yes, I am talking about the BM800 microphone. But in all seriousness, this series was my literal childhood. And it goes for also probably most of you. I first started collecting books when I got this pile of garbage over here, which is ironic because I actually like the third Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie, which is named Dog Days. It's the best of the three. Forget about long haul. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Jesus Christ, you really think this guy could actually... <laughs> oh, no, 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 not my Modric. <laughs> no. No. Dog Days is just perfect. Then my aunt, who appeared in one of my vlogs, actually gave the first and second book that actually belonged to her to me. And my dad bought The Last Straw and The Ugly Truth. These books are just that. They're wimpy good books. They all dive into the mind of a theorized sociopath, Greg Hefley. But if I'm going to be honest, if I like Dog Days, I love cabin fever a lot more. This, this little book is my ultimate favorite of the series. Throughout my childhood and my teenage and my adolescent years, I have a habit of bringing these things to the bathroom. And a lot of times, until even today, I still have a habit of bringing these to the toilet. But to put things into perspective, how much I love cabin fever more than the other books over there and even dog days itself, I bring cabin fever a lot more to the bathroom. Rereadability, like the sense like how much you like to reread this book even though you've already read it once, it's so goddamn high. It's just that. Greg doesn't really feel like a sociopath in this and more like a friend of Rowley, but still, as with tradition, he is a very selfish piece of crap in here. Everyone does their thing to keep themselves occupied while in the toilet, while I I'd rather have a bookshelf full of diary for me. Everyone does their thing to keep themselves occupied in the toilet. While I, I'd rather have a bookshelf full of cabin fever diary for wimpy kid books to keep me occupied in the toilet for the rest of my life. <laughs> phones! Oh, who needs those? Who needs phones, man? The, now. The third wheel wasn't really actually my favorite. I assumed the series was actually going downhill from this point, and boy was I correct with Jeff Kainikid Kai Kini Kain Kaini 
Kini. Kini's quality. His quality of books actually went down from here, if I'm going to be honest. But nonetheless, I still had the satisfaction that from 4th to 5th to 6th to 7th to 8th grade, I remained loyal and bought every single iteration of this book. I bought the Do It Yourself book, and I also bought the Movie Diary, which is the old version. There is still a new Movie Diary that I haven't bought. It's one of the few that I haven't bought yet. As well as the first Rowley Adventure sort of stuff. Now you might think, Oh, Neo, you're missing out on a lot of books! Ah, <laughs> you're dumb. You can't even buy books for yourself. And all I can say is, shut up. I don't care. I'll probably buy them once I get the super long-awaited super gaming computer that I've actually been waiting so I can save up more. I prefer my books when they are actually hardcover. But the fact of the matter is, I created this video so that I can actually give these books some kind of recognition for being a part of my life. Probably all for this video, I don't think that there's much to say about these books. Like, I don't even think that there's actually something that I can say that hasn't already been said. And there's a lot of things going around with Diary for Wimpy Kid. There's Not My Roderick, there's Manny, and Greg is a sociopath. And the fact that these books are actually getting the attention they need to be given, at least, not unless Dark Diaries 955 gets released. There, I said it. I am a Dark Diary hater. Call me whatever you want. Call the cops on me. I don't like that series. It's an inferior version of Diary of Wimpy Kid. Crucify me. Crucify me. You ain't changing shit.